Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch, except I'm not at the ranch. <laughs> now a lot of you guys have asked, where do you get the windmill? Where do you get parts and all that? Well, the first thing is, for sure, don't ever drive past one. My own windmill that I have, that you've seen on my series, was in fact purchased because I'm driving along the road near my hometown in Lindsay, and I get a windmill. Stop, back up, drive in, and talk to the guy. And sure enough, he was willing to sell it, and I got it. So the first thing you do is every opportunity you see or hear about a windmill, you take it. Now, this particular windmill, I stopped, and guess what I found? Yeah, I found a guy who knows a lot about windmills. He may be, he may be the best source of windmill in information that I know of at all in eastern Ontario, eastern Canada. Maybe we don't know for sure. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. I'm going to, you guys are in the windmills? Watch. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Hey, you guys are like windmills. There's windmills for you. I couldn't believe it. I, I stopped and I stayed for a minute. And these are all working, fully, fully rebuilt, working windmills. All old. There's an old BD pumper way over there. The big one. Same as mine. And, and there's, a, there's a baker and, uh, and there's a Gould Shapely and Muir, which is another company. I, I believe, in fact, that uh, BD Pumper bought them. And his front yard. I, I was saying, holy jumping. I hit, I hit the jackpot, the gold mine here. Okay, come on, guy. There's more. Behind the basketball net, two more windmills installed and built as an air motor. The only company that I know of, anyway, that still makes the old fashioned water pumping windmills. Every windmill has little differences, idiosyncrasies. Some of them I'm going to show you a couple more. Some of them, different steps on the ladder, different tower construction, different fans, and everything else is different. And Peter, that's the name of the chap. Uh, who owns all of these, you'll, you'll see him in a minute and see some more of his collection. You can go to Peter's Windmills on Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Peter's Windmills to see all kinds of information about Peter. You're going to meet him in just a minute. Uh, he, do, he, does, he collects windmills from all over. All over the United States and Canada, uh, Australia. I mean, this guy's crazy about windmills. He's crazy about windmills like I am about Sea Hunt. Uh, and, and so anyway, this is great. And I learned so much information from Peter. But this this was this was like a gold mine to me. Just fantastic. Okay, come on. We'll show you some more. <laughs> this is amazing. Get ready. <laughs> Wait, what? I know. Look at it. It's unbelievable. This is this is just part of Peter's collection of windmills, and, and he's all these windmills, all a hundred percent rebuilt. They'd be working if they were outside in the wind. All different windmills, and he has all kinds of information on each one. There's a sign. This is a Gould Shapely and Muir Company, Bradford, Ontario. The wheel is eight feet in diameter. The windmill came from Kingston. It won the won the 1903 windmill, windmill trials held by the Royal Agricultural Society. And anyway, unbelievable. And these, these ones, most of these ones on this side are from Australia. They're mostly from Australia. Okay? What? I mean, there's a roll back there and a roll back. Come on, come on. Let me show you a couple of them. All of me. I want to point this up here. This is interesting. Okay. You still that guy? Okay. Now, you have to come over, come over here, stand over here, sir, and you can see here that that windmill back there, you can actually see the mechanism, the gears. You can see the two big gears. I don't know if I can turn that maybe a little wee bit, or as you got locked off, maybe. No, oh, you see the gears turning. So this one's open, and a lot of them are made that way. They're actually open to the elements. Now, as Peter says. They worked. They worked just fine, but you had to keep them oiled and greased so they wouldn't get destroyed. Most windmills, like my BD Pumper and others, were covered. You can see this one, for instance, which is also from Australia, is, is covered. It has a cover on it in there, so all the gear mechanism is inside, soaking in oil and grease. Here's another one up here. This is a, a double gear. You can see the open gears. Now this is, that's that one. Now this is a BD Pumper. This is exactly the same as mine, the one that you've already seen in my videos, and it has all the uh, hallmarks of a beady pumper, a green case, it has a solid steel uh, uh, um, rods for the fan, which go into a solid hub 
not held together with nuts and bolts and so on. They're right into that solid hub and the fan, and, and it has a cover, a galvanized cover over the green base. And of course, absolutely essential for a BD pumper from central Ontario, it has bullet holes in the blades. Because for some strange reason, young boys around 10, 12, 14 years old, I don't know, I don't know what was wrong with me, uh, them, uh, but uh, they loved to shoot at the windmills when they were spinning. Come on, let's look at some more. Here's, here's another one that's open there. Now this one, this one is, you can see it, aero motor. This was manufactured in 1915, and uh, this is uh, the only company that I know of that is still in business. You can still buy an aero motor uh, uh, windmill, um, basically the same as this. If you, and it's still used a great deal throughout the Midwest, uh, places where they have big ranches and, uh, and, and cattle, and they need to have a windmill to keep the water running. Okay. This is Peter's uh, uh, windmill collection, and this is perfect. Peter used to have a dairy farm, and this is the this is the barn that he kept his dairy cattle in. So it has a nice flat floor, and he's modified it slightly so that it will accommodate these windmills. And you put all the windmills up with the information plaques that I've shown you. And there's a two more. I was here about a week ago, and I'm back to do this video, and he has two more here on the floor that he's going to get installed. You can see on the floor that he has special uh, places to tie them down and have them all on display. It's just, a, just an incredible, if you like windmills or into windmills, uh, this would really, really be exciting for you to visit. I'm, on, I'm going to put some more pictures on because Peter has lots of extra parts. He's only in the windmills, not so much into the pumps and the standards and the other stuff we've talked about, but he has blades and he has gears and all kinds of parts for windmills. I'll take some pictures for you as well. I have one more special windmill to show you, and then we'll chat with Peter for just a minute and we'll wrap this video up. But I just couldn't believe that you guys that are interested in windmills wouldn't get a big kick out of seeing this incredibly impressive collection. Okay, now this windmill, monstrous fan on it, big fan, big tail, it's a big, big windmill. Is a kind of a special, well, it is, is a special, not kind of, it's a special windmill. This is called a power windmill. What's the difference? Okay, well, the difference is very simple. Uh, the fan still spins the same way, but instead of the rotary motion of the fan being turned into up and down, oscillating motion to work a water pump, instead of that, there's a gear. And that gear transmits the rotary motion of the fan like this, onto a shaft that's going down. So now the shaft going down, the tower is spinning, okay? And the shaft is right down, come over this way. That shaft, here it is right here. That's that shaft right there, which is connected to the gear right up there at the, at the, at the fan, at the window. This shaft is spinning and it goes right down into a gearbox down at the bottom of the windmill. Which has, now if you know anything, if you're a farmer, you know what that is. That's like a, that's a power takeoff. And that can now be connected to anything. You can connect it to a water pump. You can connect it to any kind of machine. You can connect it to a generator to generate electricity. Exactly right. They used to use this for grain mills and all kinds of, of stuff. So this is not really for water pumping. It's for using the wind to drive a machine of some sort. A power windmill, it's called. Made by Brantford, long, long time ago. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, I told you that I would introduce you to this this guy, this crazy guy with all these windmills from all over the world. Now, he rebuilds, and this is it. This is Peter Von Canel. And don't forget, I told you, go to his Facebook page. That's where you'll find the information. Peter's Windmills. Well, now you can say that you met and seen Peter. This is it. This is the Peter. And this is, this is his machinery. Of course, he has, he has his own lathe and drill press because he has to make a lot of parts. He makes a platform. If he doesn't have a part, then he drives his best to make it and rebuilds the windows. Now, he's also working on another one of those big... How wide is that fan on that? 14, 14 foot. 14 foot fan? Oh, geez. Like most fans were about six, eight, 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 eight was pretty. Eight was pretty. Uh, power windows, 14 foot fan, the one I showed you earlier. Peter's in the process right now of uh, rebuilding another power windmill. And these are from the 1800s, right, Peter? From the late 1800s, these power windmills. Just unbelievable. 
been a lot of fun. Real pleasure meeting you. I mean, my wife thinks I'm crazy because I collect some sea hunt stuff. You know, a little bit. I take up a little bit of space in our house, you know. <laughs> if she thinks I'm crazy, I don't know what she thinks about you, Peter. <laughs> anyway, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much for taking the time. I love windmills, you know that. And we'll have a lot of fun. Okay, see you guys, Allie Pierce at the ranch. Not at the ranch, but at the ranch. Bye-bye. Thank you.